Hello everybody, it's me Paul. Welcome back to my humble studio Warsaw Poland and to my YouTube channel. Good to see you again guys. Just a short notice on my previous video. Mm, mm, I told you that I've got some personal stuff going on and my heart, my soul gonna need time to recover. And yes, that was true, but I have to also tell you that the time of this recovery for some reasons is way shorter than I thought because I realized a couple of things I wasn't really fully aware of. And it's a good news for me, for my life, and for you, and for my YouTube channel. That's it. Let's continue to the topic of today's video, which is Bloom by Uxound. Yes, the creators of Spiff and Sooth come up with a new plugin. This time it's an auto balancer, like Teori, Force, Waves Factory Equalizer, maybe? Does it play in the same league? And if it does, isn't it a bit late to the party? Isn't the market already saturated with tools of this kind? We'll see today. Of course, if you think my channel is a cool place, if you like my studio and my vids, you can always subscribe somewhere here in the corner. You can get notified, you can like this vid and comment on it down below so that I know what you think about Bloom. Let's go! Let's start with the producer's website, Xsound. This is what they say about Bloom. What we wish an EQ would do. Control irregularities in a rough sound. Increase warmth and clarity. Transform the tone of a sound. Track. You can track through it with zero latency. Find your tone. Bloom is an adaptive tone shaper. So yeah, it plays mainly in the same ballpark as Gulfos, Teori, and Waves Factory Equalizer do. I believe this graphics also tells me something. And mm -hmm, yeah, that's it. Let's not stick to the website too much. <clears throat> this is the today's session. An original, acoustic, very natural uh, sounding track. No electronics today. And then I spoiled this track using a crazy uh, EQ curve of this kind. And we're gonna try to rebalance it. Use it. Bloom, Gulfos, and Teori. This is how the original goes. And this is how the spoiled version goes. Not the easiest task to rebalance this, I know. And let's go straight to Bloom. This is the panel. Typical mm, mm, X-Sound panel. Reminds me of Spiff and Sooth. Here's our spectrum. Here are four bands I can tweak. Yes, I think manually. And left, right. Oh, this is cool. Left, right tweaks it like this, up and down. Cool. Let's leave it on zero and let's play. Okay, I think this squash thing is the is an area when multiband compression also kicks in. I can definitely hear compression. <laughs> Let's tweak it to the maximum. Let's see what happens if I. Mm, Set attack and release to maximum. Oh, that wasn't cool again. Not very nice. I should probably reduce the attack. I wasn't warned. Let's say this is roughly it. I want to squash it more. I don't like this compression. Probably there are some uses for it, but 
I can't see any right now in my situation with this track. Quality high stereo mode linked squash calibration. Calibrates squash gain staging. So this is the amount of signal going into this multiband compressor, I think. Yes, but it's just input gain, which means that still, if I want to push this squash harder, um, I have to tweak amount. So it's whatever I think this squash calibration. If you squash, you just squash the sound. It's not possible to avoid it, to increase the amount and avoid this compression, I believe at least. Yes, I still hear very significant compression, so probably it's not gonna give us any advantage, as I can see. I will leave it at eight, but you know what? Like this curve is... Let's say I would leave it like this. I'm not sure whether it's any good. I have to tell you, I got my dots. But I will just go to Gulfos, and I know exactly what I'll do here, because I know this tool very well. I use it all the time. That's it, it took me seconds, literally, but I know Gulfos very well, and though its controls are not too obvious, when you learn them, it's a powerful, amazing, wonderful tool. Same for Teodi, which got different controls, but I think I can tweak it also quite fast. <laughs> Yes, that's what I would do with Teori. Uh, I'm faster with Gulfos, but Teori also gives me very, very good results. And let's say these are very rough uh, pre-mixes, pre-remasters pre <laughs> of this track. And shall we listen to results? I'm dying to hear them. I like Gulfos most, then Teori, then Bloom. I don't like the original, actually, which was too bassy, and Gulfos made it to the point, I think. Let's listen again. Yes, I do believe that uh, Gulfos does the best job 
Then comes maybe Bloom, maybe Teori, I don't know. But definitely Bloom is not the winner to my ears. Gulfos is actually a bit better than the original to my ears. Maybe Bias should be here. Maybe Brighton should be zeroed as well. And guys, it was the fastest one for me and I achieved best results. Most clarity, most definition come from Gulfos as for me. I will exclude Teori maybe, maybe for now and I will listen to Gulfos, Bloom and Original for the very last time. Gulfos is better than original. It tamed the bass and it, it exposed vocals a bit. They are hidden both in Bloom and original. And Gulfos fixed it for me. And Gulfos is my first choice when auto balancing things like masters or separate groups, instruments. I start with Gulfos and I'm happy that I do it. I'm not saying that Bloom is a bad tool because you have to learn it too. You have to get deeper into it. You have to tweak it more. You have to get used to it. And the idea behind it is pretty much the same as with Gulfos and Teori. The design is different. The algorithm here is probably kind of different. Also, I like the uh, way you can tweak it manually for bands. What I don't like is the squash multiband compression not the thing for me, especially with long attack times, as, as you could hear. But Bloom is not bad. I mean, it's not a revolution. And I'm going to stick to Gulfos probably, but I can't say it's a bad plugin. Let's sum the things up. So, is Bloom late to the party? <laughs> Partially, yes because I'm gonna stick to Gulfos all the way. But on the other hand, it's a really quality tool. Don't get me wrong, it's not a breakthrough, but it's not a bad tool also. And probably when you sp spend some more time with it, when you learn it, you can achieve great, great results with it. The four band architecture with some manual tweaks is cool. This squash thing didn't really grab uh, my heart. Uh, didn't win my heart, uh, but probably it's also useful in some cases, maybe, I don't know. And yeah, it's a it's a cool plugin, it's not a revolution, but not everything needs to be revolution, a revolution all the time, right? So yes, I do recommend this plugin, though I know I will not use it myself personally. What do you think about Bloom? Will you use it? Will you stick to something else? Or you just don't care about any auto balancers? Let me know down below. And I hope to see you very, very soon. Take care. Bye.